Hello and welcome to Business Incorporated. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago. On the show today, South Africa's Reserve Bank loses hope for any economic growth as blackouts persist. And Ghana's 2018 growth tops IMF forecast and is set to quicken. Plus, Tunisia reaches an agreement with IMF on fifth review of loan. We'll get the show started now with the markets and it's a positive Thursday across major markets here in Africa at intraday. Egypt's EGX30 gained the most and was up 0.41%, while the NSC followed closely, gaining 0.39%. South Africa's JSC index was also up 0.15%. Kenya closed in the green on Wednesday. In the Middle East, the Qatar stock market rose, partly lifted by strong first quarter earnings from two banks, while most major Middle Eastern markets gained. The Abu Dhabi index traded in positive territory, gaining 1.05%, while Qatar's index was up 0.39%, with Qatar Islamic Bank increasing 1.4%. Saudi Arabia's index was down 0.26%, with the Middle East's largest petrochemical maker, Saudi Basic Industries, shedding 0.5%. In Dubai, the index was up 0.02%. In Europe, markets opened lower in the morning after PMI data signaled a stagnating economy. And of course, there are other news coming out from the European space. Let's talk to Lars now from the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Hello, Lars. Good afternoon. Hello, Jimmy. Good afternoon to you. To you. Yeah, uh, global markets are nerved or rattled today by the latest news from North Korea announcing test firing new tactical guided weapon? Well, it didn't actually ruffle the markets too much. Of course, it's a story that people take note of, but it feels like just a little bit like we are back to normal North Korea politics that we've dealt with uh, for decades after obviously that last round of negotiations between U.S. President Trump and Kim Jong-un has failed a couple of weeks ago. So now we're back with Kim Jong-un testing another weapon here. And obviously he is sending a signal that is not necessarily directed at the rest of the world as it is uh, pretty much at President Trump because they of course want the sanctions lowered so that they would be back at the negotiating table. All in all, of course, an extremely important story on a geopolitical level. And once uh, we are seeing actual progress made in that particular story, I think markets will react to that as well. However, they did not at this point because it just feels like this is normal stuff going on in North Korea, the same kind of exercises that we have been witnessing over many, many years. Well, it's earnings seasons and Europe's food giant Nestle SA earnings is in the news box. What are some of the line items that grabs your attention? Well, interesting about the Nestle report, that was a lot stronger than anticipated is where the profits came from. They came from the American market, and that's where Nestle just had raised prices. Another controversial move, but this is a company, we have to understand, that is no stranger to controversy. They have never shied away from controversy, and uh, of course, uh, we can uh, just uh, be remember, uh, reminded of the most controversial move uh, Nestle has done, of course, over the last couple of years, and that is their water business is also one of these very, very strong businesses in the United States where they bottle water and sell it at a high price, but they bottle it in areas that are now running dry where literally people don't have enough water for their own consumption and Nestle takes it all to bottle it. Uh, so this is obviously a very, very controversial business, but also at the same time a very profitable one, and that is uh, what counts for investors. So shares for Nestle are up despite the controversy, relying strictly on the profits. And today is the final day for many markets around the world for the long Easter holiday. What business and market sectors will be profiting from it, and um, what are your holiday plans? 
Well, my plans are actually just going back home to Berlin and spending some time over the weekend with my family. But as for the markets, I think they need a break too. European markets pretty strong all week for the German markets right here in Frankfurt. We have seen them up six days in a row. And as you can see right on the board behind me, we have actually held on to that rally. 15% is what the German index DAX made this year, actually a little over 15%. 300 points in uh, these last couple of days so the market really needs to take a breather and then it can only an analyst here on the floor saying that pretty much they can only continue with that rally if we get some good news coming up because the market has run really really high before Easter now okay Lars enjoy your holiday with your family I'll be here working happy Easter